Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll show you how I use light in the color objects. This time, I'll be coloring Kaikisuke from Guilty Gear. The Strive Kaikisuke, I guess. I'll be showing you how light direction or where the light is coming from, top right, top left, bottom, how you should use light in the color object. You know, give it that round fig figure or, you know, it pops it off from the background. And after I'm done coloring, I'll be using the timeline feature or animating feature in Photoshop. Yes, Photoshop has animating feature and I use it a lot. And also I'll be animating some effects for this piece, the short little animation piece. So if this type of content you're into, like, share and subscribe and enjoy the video. Starting out our piece with the line layers, just identify where the light's coming from. So top right, top left. Anyway, top right. The light source is gonna be coming from the top right. And what I usually do is just figure out where it's gonna get the hot spots or high highlighted. I see going around fingers, the nose, uh, some parts of the face, like your cheekbones. Also, you want to figure out the hair, how the hair lines, how the light lines in the hair, because what that does is one thing causes a shadow on another thing. So, go and use my lasso tool. I'm gonna go into all that and start it up. Uh, this is my layers, basically set up the line layers, line flats background. That's how I have them set up, and I hope you just saw my swatch pop up. So, lines go into multiply and over the flats and we go from there again when i'm coloring i'm just using like two brushes uh, just a soft edge brush and a hard edge brush i'm uh, using the swatch to get the colors and i'm just clipping those shapes uh this is a frisky tap or uh, cell shading as japan made is used they kind of should like this style uh, it helps me i like how it looks brutally honest i just like how it looks uh, and i just softly put them in uh, I don't take, I don't freak out too much as the way, but I just put in colors that are close to each other. Try hit all the different curvatures of a person's face. I, if I have any, if any reference, just use my phone, look at myself on the phone from the side view with a lighting kind of familiar, and I go from there. So I usually just do that. And I just repeat. So go on, I'm usually using three color, three tones to color. If I really want to be sexy, I get four, but three. So a dark, a mid, and a light. Here I'm putting in some highlight areas that you usually wouldn't catch too much light, but it looks nice. The hair is covering a lot of it, so that's where that uh, light and really, and really, really matter. Here I'm cutting out some shapes where I'll be putting like an under light. I think I'm going for a purple. I purple. I have a fetish for purple, which is bad. I don't know why. But under light, usually it'll be like you and water. The under light will be blue. Uh, just a color that you feel like suits the situation. Being that it's just a floating head, really, uh, so it's kind of should depend what color I want to do. Uh, if you stand on lava, it'll be a hard red light coming from the bottom. So that might get the skin might hit some of that. I mean, I just put it in, put in the light. It's like a little a light purple. It really pushes the shadow back and pushes the color up. So I wouldn't have to go a bright, bright, bright. Yeah, I'm putting in the lightest of light I'm gonna put in. And I'm just hitting some, hitting some areas I wanna highlight. The sharpness of his nose is a good one. And from there. Yeah, I was experimenting with some red highlights, like the blood vessels. I didn't like it too much, so I just kind of took them out sometimes do it but I cut no shapes like that really really helps bring stuff up again more highlighted areas uh, I think a standard eyes uh, you never really go use white you never really use white in eyes it's like grays tones of gray and that's just like the, the cheap going on with this stuff it's like you go from a dark to a light you never like this and that's like the, the closer you to the light source of course that's how everything works I got these like weird Paris and blue eyes. I use the white there. 
of us like to show it around the of his eyeballs. But forget everything I said earlier. But you know, just just this one time. Yeah, just use use the light. <laughs> use a white. Uh, a little bit more on the lighting. And again, if you watch one of my earlier videos, I'll probably put a link for it. Uh, the flats. What I do is put the flats and I put a color layer over the flats. And then when I make it a clipping mask, whenever I do that, I wouldn't go outside the shape. So you can see when I do it in the hair coming about now, you see what I mean. It just really <laughs> makes my life easier. So when you set up stuff, you should set it up properly. Jesus will make your life so much easier just setting up properly from the beginning. Uh, this video is sped up. Uh, this is th doesn't go this fast. I wish I'd get more done. I pay more money and have more time to do all the fun things I like doing. Uh, using the swatch and then bomb. Hit it with the colors. Uh, and then go to the next one. Do it all again. Hit it with even a lighter color. It's like cutting the areas I want to highlight. What I hide in the hair bunks. Look at that. Look at Kyle looking sexy. Uh, he is a blonde, but you know. Just went a little weird with the color choices, and I just used the, the swatch from the game. Here, I'm gonna put some highlights. Uh, even anger people and anime people will notice. It's like a brightest highlight on the on the roundest part. I really like it. Uh, I see a lot of American illustrators using it. It works. It's beautiful to me. And that's on my <laughs> Japan animation upbringing. Going in into the collar, using a lot of shapes and different, <laughs> a lot of different shapes in the collar. I, I really like experimenting and doing like off the wall shapes. Like I probably wouldn't ban and fold like that, but hey, look, it's fun trying stuff and seeing how it look. And so you can see how everything is built, uh, how the forms because of the light hitting and how things just pop off. The closer the lights are, the brighter the object, the part, the body I'm coloring. And that's the finished piece with the lights. Put a little bit more highlights on it and uh, brought the curves up and everything. And like I, I, I turned out, cut it up and then got to animating. Or at least animating the lightning effect. So Kai in the game is a lightning user. So what I did was in the layers panel, there's a video layer. Uh, you see in the video as I do it. And you go there and you select a video layer and it's different. So it goes by frame by frame. So you see on the screen some white little dots. So I just animate it all. Then I went inside Photoshop the effects panel and I put an odor glow. And uh, yeah, got it done. Slapped it in After Effects and this is it, this is it right here. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> And that's the video. Lighting is a very important part when it comes to coloring, uh, comics, painting, graffiti. It just shows you where the light source is coming from and it helps it a lot. Hope this stuff helps you when you're coloring something. And if you have a question or anything, hit me up in the comments. Glad to answer any question. Peace. <laughs>